everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, good day. Of course, depending on where around the world you are watching this episode from. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the Vero Jamora Show coming to you live from New York City. It is I, your darling Vero Jamora. We have such an extraordinary episode coming uh, that we brought for you today. I hope that you are ready to receive what we have jam-packed for you on our show today. I am so excited to be back on the show yet again. We did take a bit of a hiatus, but I'm so happy that we are back with you. And of course, here to share a daily dose of global goodness with you. So I hope that you are ready once again to receive what we have dished out for you today. Now, before I welcome our guest, who is absolutely incredible, I'm, I can't wait for you to meet her. She is a, a global icon, a global queen, and I know that you're going to love her so much because I love her so much and I appreciate the work that she gets to do. I would like to, however, remind you to, of course, follow us on social media. We are at the underscore Vio Tomorrow Show on Instagram. We are on TikTok, on Facebook, on Twitter, or rather now called X. <laughs> Or find us on our YouTube channel. You can simply, of course, um, like, share, subscribe our YouTube channel. Do also check us out on the VN streaming app um, or other platform on www.vnstreaming.com. Or you can check us out on the VN TV channel right there on the Enterprise Theater on your Roku, right? Now, all the formalities are out the way. I am now ready to welcome our guest. She is here in the studio, <laughs> our virtual studio, that is. <laughs> um, ladies and gents, I'm super excited to welcome this guest. Um, she's a sort of the global speaker. She's a best-selling author, an award-winning filmmaker, and mindset coach. She is going to be sharing with us today on the show two incredible um, things that she has in store, including a book and, of course, a, a vision board workshop that we're going to be unpacking. So please help me welcome onto the show. You might know her. You might have seen her. She is the one and only. Do, 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 to Cheryl P. Wilson. Wilson Williamson. <laughs> the excitement is so much that I even am kind of, you know. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, Dr. Cheryl? I am doing absolutely amazing and so excited to be here with you today. Um, thankful for Thank the opportunity you. and look forward to pouring into each and every person that will listen to us today. Yeah. I mean, you look amazing. You always look amazing. Whenever I see your social media, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Even now, you look absolutely stunning. Um, so thank you for taking the time to join us on the show today. And our guest, I did introduce you in, in our intro. Um, and our guests are wondering, oh my good, our audience is rather wondering, oh my goodness, this person has so much that they, that they have done, that they are doing, and that they get on to continue doing, right? Um, for those who don't know you, um, how would you go about explaining or rather really sharing, you know, at the core, um, outside of the accolades and outside of the titles, who Dr. Cheryl is um, for someone who, who is watching? I am truly a servant. I'm a servant at heart and I'm a servant in service of people and especially women. I believe in empowering, impacting, and making sure that each woman that I come in contact with knows that they have a purpose, that they are worthy, that they matter, and that I see them, I hear them because I am them. And I take great pride in that each and every day, reaching out to another woman, letting her know that she does not need to wait for the world to celebrate her. I help her realize that she can celebrate herself, that she came here validated, that validation is for parking, not people. Have I always felt this way about myself? Have I always been this bold and fierce and unapologetic about who I am? No, I have not been. But when I got to that point in realizing that I had a gift and a tool and something to deliver to the world and a finite time to deliver it, I had to get serious about that. So I had to stop waiting for the world to tell me it's okay for me to be brilliant. It's okay for me to write books, to do films. It's okay to do the things that I know that I'm purpose to do and to do it not waiting on the applause from everybody else but me waking up every day, hugging myself, letting myself know that I have a gift to deliver to the world that only I can give. So I waste no time in doing that. And I check with no one in the delivery. Mm -hmm. 
I love that. What a way to start the show. What a brilliant way to start the show. And I like what the word you use, that there's a finite time in which you can and have to do all of this incredible work. If you were to yes. think back on the journey that you've had and some of the things that you'd say have really shaped and formed you to be the woman that you are today. And you, you, know, you, you, you brilliantly explained to us that it's not always been this way. But if you kind of think back to that one moment that sparked this this, this, this urge and this desire and the realization that you only have this finite time, um, what was happening in that time and uh, what did it look like? I was actually um, betrayed in business and personal life and it took me to a place of depression. I was betrayed by people who I, who I felt were on my side and in my corner and it made me feel like well, if I can't trust them after they've told me that they are who they are, what does that mean? And I fell into a depression because I had put so much faith, not in myself, but in those people being who they said that they were, that it took me to a place where some days I couldn't get out of bed. And one day I was in bed and I heard the Holy Spirit say to me, he said, this is your last day crying. Let me tell you who you are. You are worthy. You are gifted. You receive preferential treatment. You receive God-inspired ideas that produce millions of dollars. You have a gift to deliver to the world that only you can give. I will take what the world perceived as your darkest hour and turn it into your greatest testimony. And I realized that I had to get up that day. And it began in my mind. I started telling myself every day that I'm worthy that I'm a blessing, that although I was hurt, that I will rise again, that I needed to do this thing that I'm called to do, purpose to do. And even in that process of working through that pain, not to turn on women, although it was many women who were the greatest source of that pain, he told me, don't turn on women. To show other women that you can be hurt to your core but don't turn on women. I want you to use that pain and turn it into purpose. I want you to turn that into sisterhood. And so what I did is I started writing and sharing affirmations on social media and women started reaching out to me saying, how do I get this? And I started teaching the power of mindset. So for me, my mindset is my superpower. There's nothing that anybody can take from me that God has promised to me. And with that knowledge, that's how I walk out every day, yeah. knowing that yeah. everything and everything is possible. And so I believe that my mindset truly is my superpower. The fact that mm. I'm on here right now is a testimony to my mindset being my superpower because I write down every day that I am on radio, TV, and film, that I speak globally to millions. And so this is truly a full circle mindset vision board moment being here right now. Wow. I absolutely love that. And I'm hoping that I always say this to audiences at home that you, when watching this, you've got a notebook and a pen and you're noting down these notes because I, I feel like you're sharing some valuable and some intricate, um, you know, points that could help one navigate their life going forward. Um, if you were to look at some of the things that you've done, you know, I did mention you, you do a global speaker, best-selling author and award-winning filmmaker and mindset coach from those, um, you know, roles and, and titles that you have, which one would you say has been very close to your heart and, and that it has, has had so much impact to the woman that you serve and to the people that you serve around the world? It would be um, being a mindset coach because I realized very early on, in fact, one of my clients that I just spoke to, um, this carried, this was the end of her 12 month time, 12 months sessions with me. She's been on appointments with me. And I asked her the question, how has your mindset changed from when we started to where we are? She said, I would have been in situations where someone told me no, and I took that as the final. She said, now that you've taught me the value of my mindset and walking in my purpose, I realized that it might be a no in that moment, but I don't need to keep expecting no's. She said, I had to begin to expect the yes. So the fact that I've been able to help many women globally, thousands of women 
believe, in fact, tens of thousands of women believe in themselves so much that they've launched businesses, they've written books, they're now doing films, they're, they've married the, 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 the person of their dream, they have um, began to boldly walk out that just because they get a diagnosis from a doctor, their mindset has allowed them to see themselves well, to see themselves whole. And I give them examples of it, myself being diagnosed with supraventricular tachycardia, but I made a conscious decision in my mind that I would not be on heart medication and I would not be on a heart monitor. To this day, I'm not on heart medication and I'm not on a heart monitor. So when people see me walk out, what I proclaim and what I say and what I share, authentically, these women are able to do that for themselves. So even if they're in a situation where they're bidding a project, they already see themselves where they won the project. They already see the money in the bank. And when you can see it before you see it, you expect it. And so that's how I've been able to help women globally change the course of their life their business, their relationships, dealing with past trauma, hurt and pain. You have to see yourself out of it. You can't keep going back to the past. There's nothing in, in the rear for you but reliving whatever that pain and trauma is that you went through. So I teach women to see it forward by keeping their mindset positive and focused on seeing it before you see it. I love that. And, you know, from a, from a global perspective and audiences that watch the show are, come from various different parts of the world, when, and, and in your experience, right, engaging with either women or just people in general, um, within the mindset point of view, have you seen that there's a, there's a difference with how mindsets are established based on where you are and how then do you break away from that to ensure that you, you step into the right mindset from wherever you are, whatever the circumstances of wherever you are, are. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but, but really the, the question draws from these global audiences, these global women, various different points of life, various different paths in life, um, is it possible to 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 um, differ, differentiate between where you are and the mindset? And is it is it a universal thing? Okay, so mindset is universal. So mm. I don't care if you are right now in the field, in a, in a rice field. It does not matter. Your mind mm. can take you outside of that. Your mind can see you in an art exhibit in New York City. And the reason that I say that is because we see people whose circumstances are, they are living on a bus because they have no place to live. That could be in mm. any country, anywhere in the world, but they know that there is another world outside of, of this. So they catch the bus to get that opportunity, to get that education, to have that better life. So you have to see it before you see it. Your body may be in a rice field or your body may be living in a bus, but your mind is not there. Your mind has you at the Ritz-Carlton or your mind has you in a university. That is why I teach see it before you see it. That's why I do vision board classes to show people how to visualize exactly what they want to see happen in their lives. That's what I did with myself. I cut out the NAACP Image Awards and I held it up. I cut out the Grio Awards. I cut out Michelle Obama's picture and put it on my vision board when they went in the White House. And I said, one day I will work with her. Then I switched from one day to I work with Michelle Obama. I started seeing it. My language started changing. And when her book came out, I was one of seven people selected to sit on a panel with our firm, former first lady with her book. And so I saw that before I saw it. And it didn't matter when people said, oh, well, you don't know anybody that knows her. How is that going to happen? <laughs> My mindset, mm. we know that. You see that all the time. I remember seeing a, a tweet that they showed from LeBron James where he said, I am a billionaire. He wasn't even in the league then. But now, fast forward, he's a billionaire. So when he wrote it, his financial situation wasn't where it is at all. So that's why I said anybody can, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, you have to see it before you see it. People, it doesn't matter where you are. 
you start from today with what you think about yourself. So you can look at your account right now and it can be zero dollars in there. You need to see the money in your account. You need to take out a slip, a deposit slip right now out of your book and write a check to yourself and place it up on your vision board. So if you see yourself broke, you'll always be broke. If you see yourself in debt, I don't care where you are in the country or in the world. If you're constantly speaking debt and being broke and broken, that is what will come into your life. You have to see yourself whole and healed. You have to see yourself debt free and set free. You have to see yourself as a winner. You have to, if you're in a contest right now, go ahead and write your acceptance speech. Because if you truly believe that you are going to win, you've already picked out your outfit. You've already written out your acceptance speech. And this is for anywhere in any country, for any woman. Your believing starts with you. So demo demographic and geographical location is not a limitation as we're no. hearing from at all, at all. And I love that. So this then leads us to the upcoming vision board workshop that, you know, the women and the people of Dallas are going to be so, so blessed to be able to experience this. I'm sitting in New York and I'm thinking, oh, my God, <laughs> I'm going to be missing out. So please share more about the vision board workshop coming up this Saturday, December 9th. Yes, I'm super excited because I get inbox messages all the time asking me, can you teach a class? So last year I taught two vision board sessions. This year I'm only doing this one. And what makes this, I've seen comments where it says, well, what makes your vision board session different? It's because I explain why you're doing it. I don't just have people come into a room and say, okay, sit down, let's cut out pictures, let's get up and dance. I explain to them the purpose of the scissors, the purpose of the glue, the purpose of the tape, the purpose of the board. And that makes such a difference because when you know why you're doing something, then you'll stay the course. So it is on December the 9th at the Black Academy of Arts and Letters. You can get the tickets on Eventbrite or on my website at CherylPWilliamson.com. It's a full gourmet breakfast, all your supplies. You're going to meet women from all over the country. I've had women fly in from all over the country um, at both of the past sessions. When they walked in and I said, stand up and introduce yourself. When people stood up and said, North Carolina, Detroit, Chicago, all of these different places, they flew in just for that session. They knew that it was something in that room that they had to get. So if you're in Dallas or you can get to Dallas, trust me when I tell you that this is a room that you want to be in. The fellowship in that room is real. One of the women that came from Chicago, she actually just took part on my women's uh, C-suite retreat to Mexico. She had only seen me on social media. She bought a ticket. She came to the vision board session. She stood up and said, you just happened to come into my feed on social media. And I knew wow. I needed. And so the vision board session is that opportunity, that board, that thing that represents your hopes, your dream, your purpose, what you want to see happen in your life. And so you want to be in the room, get your tickets, because the experience is unreal. It's, it's, it's not a, oh, we're doing vision boards. We're, we're cutting out stuff. It's no such thing as cutting out stuff. Everything that we do that day from the moment we enter that space has a meaning and a purpose that will transcend opportunities that will absolutely blow your mind. Women have cried. Women have stood up and shouted. Women have clapped. Women have shared dreams and hopes that they thought would never happen for them because a lot of us, we're on the second act of our life and we've given up so much to family and friends and children. And we realize that we have more time behind us than we do ahead of us. So mm -hmm. we take that board extremely seriously. And so it's an opportunity for women, men, couples to come together and actually put your dreams on paper. It's an accountability board. It's an execution board because you have to execute on it. There's a date. You're holding yourself accountable for your dreams, your purpose, and your goals. Why? Because they're yours. Yes. I was just always curious, right? I, I'm a, I love vision boards as well, but 
I'm always curious, and I'd like to know your thoughts on this particular topic of how what you have then put on paper, what you put on the vision board, it finally manifesting. What happens between the the seeing that photograph or seeing that 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 particular image put on that vision board, that then leads to that final result? Does the psychology of your brain start kind of the decisions that you take and the actions that you make start aligning with that? Or what happens psychologically that you find yourself within that position? And for you, how has it been in your journey where you, for an example, the Michelle Obama example that you gave us, what steps did you then take or did it just happen unconsciously? No. What I want to be clear with people on with vision boards is it start with it starts with believing. It's like being an entrepreneur. Nothing is going to happen if you don't work. So you have to place yourself in position where you work. You can't just sit mm -hmm. around waiting. So what does that look like? For the Michelle Obama example, that meant being in the presence of people who could get me to that opportunity. That meant mm. building relationships. Now, hear me when I say relationships, not transactions. See, a lot of us, we are transactional. If you can do something for me, then I'll help you. Transactions don't last. As soon as the check clears the bank, the relationship is over, which means you cannot go back. If you build a relationship, many transactions come from relationships. One transactions come, one transaction comes from a transaction. So when you're writing out your vision board, you need to look and see, okay, I said I wanted to be a best-selling author. That means I need to start writing. I need to be responsible for my piece. The book is not going to write itself. The film mm -hmm. is not. So you can't think that you're just going to miraculously <laughs> have the publisher call you if you haven't written the book, you have not made any type of attempt to do anything. You have to stop talking about it and be about it. So if you say that you're going to be debt free or you are debt free, you have to stay out of people's store. You have to stop overspending. You have to stop thinking that other people are responsible. If you know you have $10,000 worth of bills every month, you can't spend $12,000 and then call somebody else for $2,000 every month. You're going against what you're asking for on your board. If you say you want to lose weight, that means that you can't eat at every single place that you go and have all the sweets. So you become responsible for the alignment of your thought process for what's on your board. You have to place yourself in position to win. You have to be ready to win. And that takes constantly, like my board is up in my office. My board, I see it every single day. I have pictures of it on my phone. And I'll tell you, this is what's really good. When you see something happen that's on your board, it's a, a representation to let you know what's possible. And then you want more of it. So when you win that Oscar, you want another Oscar. When you do that first film, when you produce that, because that's what happened. When I first published the first book, I said, oh my goodness, this was on my board all these years ago. So now 18 books later, well, 19 now, as of yesterday, 19 now books later, I can go back to my first vision board and say, oh my goodness, I accomplished this. I wanted to go to this. I wanted to do this. It's there. And you begin to weep. For me, I cry because I'm <laughs> like, oh, I did this vision board five years ago. It took me five years. Doctor, a perfect example, Dr. C. Williamson. Everybody kept asking, are you a doctor? Because my email address for 22 years before I became Dr. Cheryl Williamson was Dr. C. Williamson 66. And people kept saying, are you a doctor? I said, not yet. It took 22 years. And the email address at that for 22 years, but I kept seeing it every day. I kept knowing it was going to come to pass. I didn't know when, but I lined myself up so I could win, so I would be ready. And, that's what we have and I don't know if you, I don't know if you uh, um, believe in in the Bible, but there's there's a very powerful scripture about how faith without works is really dead. Yes. So you, even if you have the faith and you do believe that this thing is going to happen, but the works to make it come into realization is highly essential as well. Now we have a couple more minutes, and I want us to talk about this book. You said as of yesterday it was number nineteen. 
So let's let's uh, dive into that uh, affirmed uh, volume two, 365 positive thoughts and actions to start your day. Yes. I would like to know more about that because I'm already excited um, about So please tell us more about the book. Absolutely. So I wrote a firm volume one over eight years ago and it's sold over presently is already sold over 31,000 copies worldwide. And it's an affirmation book about the power of your mind. I am worthy. I am debt free. I am loved. I am cared about. I was looking because usually I have that one on my desk, but it's, it's a thought and action for every day. And so recently, maybe about nine months ago, I just felt an inkling in my spirit that said, you need to do part two. So I began writing. Then I hired an amazing publishing company to work with me. And so I got my copy yesterday in the mail to approve. And this is affirmed volume two. Amazing. So it's here. This is 365 positive thoughts and actions to start your day. And then what is to today is December 6th. Let me read. This is uh, the new book. So let me read from December 26. I mean, December 6th. It says change begins with a single decision and I am empowered to choose. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Change is a powerful force that starts with a single decision. And I fully embrace my empowerment to choose. Each day, I recognize the opportunities before me and the potential for transformation that they hold. So each day is an affirmation, a scripture, a lesson, and then lines for you to write in the book. I intentionally did not put a year on the book because people have been reading Affirmed every year since it came out over eight years ago. So I did the same thing with this book. It's, it's new affirmations, it's new scriptures, it's new lessons. People carry this to work. I've had so many people call and say, from your Affirm Volume 1 book, it's kept me in a, in a great mood when I wanted to tell people off at work. I take out your book, I read it like this says, I move from lesson to lesson with no loss of enthusiasm. That's powerful. My best yeah. is, I am enough. These are some of the affirmations in the book that we placed in here. My healthy choices have a radical positive impact on everyone around me. Those are powerful affirmations. And it's not that we don't know it. It's just we need a reminder. So yes. affirms is available at Amazon. You can pre-order a copy, a signed copy at CherylPWilliamson.com. We also have a journal book that's going to go with that so that you have that separately. And then, of course, I have the um, product line affirmed by Dr. Cheryl, and that has journal books, books, T-shirts, bathing suits, and it's all affirmations affirmed by Dr. Cheryl and affirmed volume two. Two. It won't, so this is the first time you all are the first people seeing this book up live, up close and personal because it just came in the mail last night. Well, actually, the second group because my uh, clients that I coach, I shared with them last night. So it would keep their spirits up and let them know what's possible when you believe. I believe in giving people real life examples. And so yes. I am living, breathing example of the power of affirmation and mindset that no one can stop me. No one can block me when I believe that everything is possible for me. Ah, and we want everyone at home to get a copy of that book. So when is it available? You did say they could pre-order, um, but when is it available for sale? They can get it next week. It'll be available on Amazon and any place else books are sold. Again, okay. they can also order it from my site as well, CherylPWilliamson.com, and we'll be again shipping. And I'm blessed to be able to say that Hallmark um, has already Hallmark Mahogany has already pre-purchased 250 copies of the book. I got their contract day before yesterday. So people believe in my products. They believe in my books. They believe in the affirmations. So I just want to thank everybody who um, has been on with us today. I appreciate you, my sister, for allowing me to be on your global show. And I pray that something that I've said today will um, touch the heart and mind of each and every person that is listening, male, female, woman, man, child, to realize that in order to live the life of their dreams, 
they are the one that is responsible through their mindset, Amazing. through affirming themselves and for showing up. It's about oh. showing up, not about building it. It's about yeah. showing up. Mm. When you show up, other people will show up. If you don't show up, they're not going to show up. Mm. I definitely am so, so well fed this afternoon. I have, I've taken everything and I'm hoping that you at home, of course, have been enjoying this episode. The book is going to be coming out. I will be getting a copy. You go get a copy as well at home. It is going to be available where all books are sold. A perfect Christmas gift, Dr. Shreya, I, I believe. If you want to give yeah. someone this gift and to get the new year started on a high and a positive note, then I believe that this is the best book to go about and do so. Thank you so much for joining me, um, hey. Dr. Cheryl. I cannot wait to get my hands on um, on the book and of course to continue following you and your journey it's been inspiring to watch and see a global woman doing exceptional global things and of course um, shining her light for others to shine as well thank you so much for coming thank you be well all happy right holidays. <laughs> happy holidays and that's what we have in store for you at home today. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, this is the Vio Tomorrow Show. I did promise you a very great show, and that's exactly what we brought to you. Of course, we do this every single Monday to Friday, right here, live from New York City. Now, we're back again tomorrow with another exciting episode with a very special global guest. We'll be coming on the show, of course, to share some global conversations and global topics and global ideas with you, um, with us here in New York City. To you. From me to you with so much love. Don't forget to hit us up on social media. What are your thoughts on today's conversation? I'd love to hear from you. So don't forget to hit us up. We are at the underscore Vio to show across all social media platforms. From me to you with so much love and all of the goodness that Dr. Cheryl shared with you today and me. It's goodbye and have a fantastic one. Mwah. Cheers for now. <laughs>